Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Oblivion. Uh, last time we just rode these stupid horses all the way up here. Yes. Grandmaster, is this? Oh. Yes, Cyrus. It's Cyrus. This is the Emperor's son. All right. Martin Septim. Sir, my lord, welcome to Cloud. I remember mentioning Temple. liking him. I think he's the guy who um. Honor of an emperor's visit in many years. Ah, uh, well, thank you. I think he's the guy who the does the mind. little. Come. Your blades are waiting to greet you. What does he do? Oh yeah, he 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 um he's your class dude. He's like, oh yeah, you're this guy. Are you a fucking scout? I'm gonna Google Cyrus Elder Scrolls. Yeah, okay, I'm literally reading about this. But C Cyrus is also the name of the protagonist in the spin-off game. The Elder Scrolls Blades, Blades? or no, Elder Scrolls Redguard. The Emperor and his sons were slain on our watch. The Empire is in chaos. Are we can, are... but there is yet hope. Okay, we are getting Here subs. I hate Septim, talking when there's not subs because I'm talking Uriel over Septim. somebody actively. Hail, hail, Dragonborn. Dragonborn. hail, 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 hail. They're a little out of the sync. It's kind of fun though. You will be safe here until you can take up your throne. Joffrey. All of you, I know you all expect me to be emperor. I'll do my best, but this is all new to me. I'm not used to giving speeches, but I, I wanted you to know that I appreciate your welcome here. I hope I prove myself worthy of your loyalty in the coming days. That's it. Thank you. Well then, thank you, Martin. We'd all best get back to our duties, eh, Captain? Not much of a speech, was it? <laughs> For God, can that. you not wait until... Delayed saluting me and hailing me as Martin Sept. Uh, I don't mean to sound ungrateful. Odd. I know I would be dead by now if it weren't for you. Thank you. But everyone expects me to... They want an emperor to tell them what to do. And I haven't the faintest idea. Of course. The like, hanging with kings. a neophyte emperor is like a so semi-interesting concept. And take it to the Temple of the One and light the dragon fires and stop the Oblivion invasion. Yeah, and you'll be the Emperor. The Emperor? I bet. This is That's so terrible. Takes some getting used to. In any case, we need the amulet first. Maybe Joffrey will know where to start. Don't worry about me, my. You have proven yourself a loyal servant of the Empire, as worthy as any of the Blades to stand by Martin's side during this crisis. Puke. As the Grand Master of the Blades... <sighs> the Blades are sworn to the service of the Empire. Yeah, I'll join. It is join. my honor to welcome you into our ranks as a Knight I'll join so I can, blade. like, backstab you all later. You're right. We must try to recover the... You should go back to the Imperial City. Imperial City. You'll find Boris at Luther Broad's boarding house in the Boris Elven Gardens district Broad. of the Imperial City. The Daedra Prince of Destruction. Daedra Prince. An inveterate Prince. foe of all mortal races. He was involved with Jager like Thorne's plot against the Empire. Oh, Jager Thorne. He's, uh, he's in Daggerfall, isn't he? It doesn't surprise Daggerfall, me to he? find his hand in the current calamity. They recently, um, Give my I think possibly in honor of 20 years of Oblivion, uh, they recently put, um, I think Arena and Daggerfall on Steam. I haven't time to talk. Yep. <coughs> Damn. Um, I already had access to Arena and Daggerfall because they were included with my copy of Morrowind through good old games. Um, and what's more, for I think a couple of years, uh, Oblivion and, or no, um, Daggerfall and Arena were free. For those who need reminding, these games are not called Oblivion, Morrowind, and Skyrim. They are the Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind, the Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion, and the Elder Scrolls 5 Skyrim. I mentioned because my dad constantly forgets that he is playing the fifth in a series despite the fact that Skyrim's one of his favorite games of all time. Yeah, like, my dad's a Sky Baby, but I'm a Mora Boomer. Isn't that fucked up? Can I... Quick Travel? Is that in this game? Ooh, you can Quick Travel. I 
I want to get my cool right up. Yeah, isn't that crazy backwards? My dad's a bit of a snob when it comes to graphics, and if things are too, like, ugly or old looking, he just straight up won't even play them. My dad doesn't like Symphony of the Night, for God's sakes. Because, like, he can see the pixels. And, like, I think that's dumb. Symphony of the Night looks great. Maybe even because of the pixels. Uh, I digress. But yes, the Elder Scrolls Arena is just the first game in the franchise, and the Elder Scrolls Daggerfall is the second one. But everyone disagrees on where this where this franchise starts, you know? Because Daggerfall has so many more problems than all the other ones. Like, people talk about how poorly balanced Oblivion is, or how poorly balanced Morrowind is, but like, Daggerfall is even worse balanced. Like, Daggerfall is is it practically barely functions. Like it is it is a miracle that that game came out at all. There's also like people people talk about it like, "Oh, you're only going to get the real RPG experience when you're playing Daggerfall." And like, I think that you should shut up and shut your eyes and imagine a game. I feel like that's what you actually want to play, you know? You want to just imagine things. Like, Daggerfall has this weird pseudo-roguelike element where it generates the world randomly, and, like, that's dumb. Like, you're playing a game with a, with a map. Like, th like, this is a canon map of the Elder Scrolls. We know what Oblivion, like, looks like because there are maps of it. We know what Cyrodiil and Vardenfell and Morrowind all look like. What is it, citizen? Elven Gardens. Um... Like, we know what all of these things look like because there's a huge map of it. You shouldn't really be able to randomly generate something that already has a map, you know? That's that's weird and that's kind of dumb. I don't know why it's like that. I don't know why it would be. And, like, that's just a, that's a, that's a crazy idea for a video game. Why would you ever make a game randomly generated? If it already has like a, a map drawn for it. Is that a hard cloth? Sure is. Oh, there you go. Oh, I gave more thought to like why you can't, uh, why the Nerevarine and Dovahkiin are better at picking stuff at the start of this game than you are. Well, obviously. In jail, your skills rot, your skills decay, and you get worse at things over time. The main character starts in jail, as opposed to just being on a prison ship, being deported to Morrowind, and uh, being on an execution block. So, of course, you've, uh, you've, you've been, you know, rotting your skills. Boris. Luther Broad. Cool. I don't even want to be in here. I just wanted to break that lock. Is he not going to be up here? Am I going to have to talk to this guy and be like, Luther Broads. Where's Boris? Be seen. Oh. He's just so small and short that I looked by him. Sit down. Don't say anything. Listen, I'm going to get up in a minute and walk out of here. That guy in the corner behind me will follow me. You follow him. Okay, word. I'm already in. We can't talk. Good. Remember. I'm telling Droogs, Droogs is telling me. Die in the 
Only... Search his body. I'll keep an eye out and word. Mythic Dawn commentaries. A strange book about the Mythic Dawn cult. Man, this makes that like good work. I am. There's glad that side quest you, about Marin's Dagon and the, the Mythic time. Dawn in Skyrim, where somebody's just making like a museum of their paraphernalia, and like, yes, that happened 200 years ago, but like, that's in a really weird context now that like the Mythic Dawn caused the fall of the like. I guess it's like a civil war. Like an American Civil War, for those of you who live in the States, it's like an American Civil War museum. Where, like, they're not presenting it in a manner of, like, hey, this is this is weird and this is an awful thing that happened. It's like, wasn't this interesting? And, like, wasn't that interesting? You know? Like, you got a found... You, you got a statue of Molag... Or, uh, not Molag, Molag. You got a statue of Merun's Dagon in Skyrim. It's kind of like if you had a statue of... Um, Who's the guy who found the KKK? The assassins who killed the emperor were part of it. I know he has statues. Some of them suck. Gone. I, I want to keep those statues out. Worship the Deirdre Lord. The statues Lord of him that just look like shit. I think those are funny. Like, hey, we're stuff. white supremacists. Look at the was. art we made. It's gonna stand for a thousand generations. Like, yeah, dude. It looks like ass. Great job disproving your theory of superiority with that alone. We should keep that up forever. All right. So you said. Oh, he has. I had hoped I heard you correctly. That's Thank interesting. Talents. So I wonder if you the just say, yeah, sure, Martin, and follow your orders. He'll just throat, straight up be like, him, okay. Or we will die trying. Interesting. So I wonder if there, yeah, I wonder if there's actual dialogue there. That's cool. What's the move? There's a scholar at the Arcane University. Tarmina's her Based name. on that, probably an Argonian. Supposed to be an expert on Diedrich Coles. Tarmina? It's a very Argonian name. Why don't you take that book to her? See what she makes of it. I'll I know, maybe that's down Kaijit. Because Kaiji learning, have name like Rock you can find me and, and Broads. May Talos guide you. Talos guide you. Hell yeah. Like I said, she's Okay. From Tarmina about that book. This might just Weren't we also going to an Argonian or a Kai or was need, it a friend? Kaijit? Fuck. Weren't we also going to an Argonian or a Kaijit to go talk about a book very early on in Morrowind because an old man told us to? I'm not going to claim, like, uh, I'm not going to claim, uh, like, plagiarism here, but, like, when you have a big, long series like this, sometimes it's interesting to spot the through lines. Like, in, in, um, Persona, for example, you have this concept called social links. Uh, well, in, in the game that Persona draws from Shin Megami Tensei, Every demon that you can ally with, kind of like a per, kind of like a Pokemon, has you know an element just on their own, but they also have a playing card of the major arcana, the tarot cards that they're aligned with. And if you don't know the tarot, you should look into it. It's interesting and fun. Um, or you know, just watch this bizarre adventure. Um. Sorry, I'm umming a lot. I'm fasting, so I'm very dumb right now. My brain needs food to work, and I don't got it, so it's dumb. What am I getting at? Oh, it's a cool statue. Oh, and there's the tower. Yeah, I walked by that earlier. Is this Tiber Septum or Talos? Um. Anyway, every single persona or demon that you ally with in the SMT series is aligned to a specific tarot. So, like, guys who are... Oops. What the fuck? What's happening? Guys who are aligned to, like, for example... Okay. Cool. Goodness. Guys who are aligned to, like, the Emperor Arcana are usually very physically strong and often have, like, lightning powers. Though sometimes they have ice. Sometimes, you know, members of the Empress Arcana are the ones with ice. And they're, like, feminine versions of the Emperor. Oh, you're a battle mage. So you have a hood and the armor. One of the Night Watch, and all's well. 
Take care, sir. That's very polite. Thank you. What do you? You'll find Smiths out. Thank you. Carry on. That's unflappably polite. Like compare, like, hey, I remember the Night's Watch. Nothing has gone wrong yet. Things are okay. To like, we're watching you, scum. Like of things to hear from a cop. One of those is rather favorable. The gate shan't be moving. Oh, this is a door. Doy. Skingrod. That's a scary looking. Th uh, that's a scary looking this town. Is a wondrous encounter. A portal. Radical. I understand Aradel is good at yep. getting into places. Argonian. Yeah, I think kaiji names are actually more There's stuff like um. Locks than most people like they have a know. string of adjectives and nouns or something. <clears throat> Clears throat. The other provinces. They say that King Halsa has made an alliance with... Oh, Prince. oh! Together they pick apart the carcass you fuckers. of ruined Indoran. I helped you, Halseth! Morrowind has always been a troubling place, it seems. It Especially considering how many of your people are enslaved in Morrowind. Good night. Be seeing you. Tidings. Anyway, my point is, is that in Persona, people will be tagged as the Emperor, or they'll be tagged as the Magician, or the Tower, or the Chariot, or what have you on account of them being a part of that arcana and having a persona of that arcana. And so side-by-siding and comparing all of those characters with their, like... Uh, with their... Like, element is interesting. Like, you side-by-side -side all of the emperors. Like, you get a sports star who keeps hurting himself in Persona 3... You get fucking Akihiko, who there is a poster of on my wall right there. There's the man himself. You get Kanji Tatsume, and you get Yusuke from Persona 4, or 5. And, like, those are all very interesting characters. And, like, the Emperor is the consistent through line, but you get the Emperor based on your personality, not just because it's given to you. And so, like, seeing the personalities that give them the Emperor and, like, how they have a through line is very interesting. And so when you're comparing games like this, obviously games so huge and in the same universe are going to have some overlap. But I like comparing the two, well, really, the three main um, games. I just don't know this game, so I often don't include it. But side-by-siding, side like, Morrowind and Skyrim and being like, this is the old god you go to talk to who's cool with you. Like, Parthenax and Vivek are essentially the same character on your, like, little hero's journey, you know? Ah, you must be the one I got the message about. How, How did they get here I before help? me? Unless they knew I was coming before. Milligdon. One of the most secretive of all the Daedric cults. I imagine Not Daedric cults would be pretty secretive, them. wouldn't they? They follow the teachings of Menkar Cameron, whom they call Menkar Cameron. I think I've heard that name. figure in his own right. I found this book. Ah, yes. Commentaries on the Mysterium Xarxes. Xarxes. You have a scholarly interest in Daedric cults, then. I need to find them to find kill them. them. Huh? I won't poke my nose any further. Official business and all that. I'm used to working with the blades. Don't worry. Word. Say no more. You know? In any Strictly case, business, ma'am. Just the facts. Be easy. I've studied Mankar Cameron's writings a bit myself. At least... Like, I hate the blades, I but I gotta admit, they keep a fucking well-oiled machine running here, you know? Mankar Cameron's commentaries like, come the emperors consistently seem to be kind of schlubs. The first two books. So, like, maybe it's just the fact that, like, the that blades have a very straightforward and open system. The like, of the mythic dawn's secret shrine to Mehrun's Dagon. Oh, word. Those who unlock this hidden path have proven themselves mm. worthy to join the ranks gotcha. of the mythic dawn cult. Finding the shrine is the first test. If you want to find them, you'll need all four volumes of the commentaries. Fetch quest, huh? Here, you can have the library's copy of volume two. Treat oh, it gently, nice. if you please. As I've said, I've never even seen the third and fourth volumes. You should try first edition over in the market district. Fintius, the proprietor, Fintius. caters to specialist collectors. Specialist. He may have an idea of where to locate those books. Mm. So even if he doesn't have them himself. It was so nice chatting with you. Be sure to What let a nice know. lady. Very pleasant. Very pleasant to speak to. 
Um, Sorry, I've kind of run dry of topics to discuss. I actually really like this game. It's a good fucking game. I mean, I guess no wonder people swear by it. I do say that I am rather disappointed about how, like... Morrowind has so much of the new weird in it. And, like, that is less present in Skyrim, but it's, like, it feels very absent here. I imagine that it was worse at the time, because, like, it was so fresh off the heels of Morrowind. But as someone who played Skyrim, then Morrowind, and then Oblivion, I have a really weird, like, view of it. Like, there's a bit of the, of the like, weird time stuff. Like, I'm trying to think. Because to my knowledge, Daggerfall only has a bit of the weird time stuff because they need to... They need to work out how to have multiple cannons all be canon. And not, you know... Oh, I should just wait until this opens. I don't need to break in. There we go. Four hours to 8 a.m. Or I guess 9 a.m. Whoops. They. I kind of wonder... Ooh. I love a good rain. The copious coin purse. What, is it Christmas or something? Maybe they open at nine. We're always on duty. This guy doesn't give a shit. Iron armor in the rain. What a badass. What are you looking? You'll f move along. I do like the rumors button to just be like, what are the what are what are some rumors recently? But yeah, like more like there's a little bit of the weird sci-fi stuff to be like. Hey, so, like, time travel is real, and you can, like, fuck with the nature of the world, because all of reality is just a, a image imprinted on the brain of a, of a sleeping god, and it's, you know, you can think of it as his dream. But the actual truth is way more complicated than that, yada, yada, yada. Oh, they just open later. So, what, do they open it, like... Oh, yeah, these are people. Maybe they wake up at 8 in the morning, but they don't immediately unlock their door. You know? Gotta rinse their mouth out. I don't know if they brush their teeth in this province, but, you know, you, rinsing your mouth out is pretty common. What kind of deal can I make for you today? Ugh. I offer the finest goods and lowest prices Blacksmith in apron. all cool. Cereal. Appeal of breaches. Ooh. Fortify cash money. Very expensive, though. It's uh, about 10 times my current net worth pocket change at some point in the game, but it isn't now. A less rude song. Biography of Berenzia. Guide to Anvil, Bravel, Bruma. Chadenhall, Choral, Ladawin, Skingrod, Imperial City. Oh, these are all probably like, hey, player, do you need a little pamphlet just to catch you up on what the fuck you're doing or where you are? Buy this. And then some goodies. Cool. Uh, let's offload some of my goodies. Eighteen gold gold ring. Apparatuses, is this clarifies? Um only two gold. Ooh, eight gold, that's better. A fine transaction. Hmm. I don't know if restore is going to be important. I don't need to fire shield. I'm never ever going to need to fire shield. <laughs> I'm a Dunmer. Hello? Shock shield might be useful. Restore mana. Actually, now that I think... Making potions of fire shield... We're Thank you, sir. Uh, that was a pretty, pretty good sell, and since I'm never, ever going to need them on account of my inherent Dunmerian resistance to fire, maybe it might be in my best interest to make a whole bunch of fire-resist stuff. 
Um, what did I have in here that resists fire? Bone meal. Oh shit, I just swallowed that. Right. Not how it works. So these are damage fatigue, damage fatigue. Oh, it's trying to get me to make damage fatigues. <laughs> I got a whole bunch of rat meat. I don't feel like detect life is going to be very useful. What do we got a lot? What kind? Might be good to look up Let's what makes potions of things I don't care about. Yeah, look at that. A Super shway. I'll hold on to these just because they're a little more useful. Damage willpower isn't... I don't know if I'm going to need to detect life. So, I don't know this, of course, because I haven't played this game, and I don't even have that many spoilers, but I kind of imagine that, like, this might be a quicker way to get at loot than I than I expect. Book of Daedra. Because, like, I feel like he might be like, oh, I don't know anything. And then he'll, and then he'll, like, pull a knife and try to stab me because, like, I'm sniffing around in the name of, the, in the name of, like, you know, busting the Mythic Dawn. You know, maybe he's a Mythic Dawn cultist. Or maybe the guy he'll send me to is... Oh, these aren't real. These are pictures of papers. All right. Boring place anyway. Hello, sir. I'm Fintius, owner and proprietor of the first edition. If I don't have it, maybe I can get it, my man. You must be referring to Mancar Cameron's commentaries on the Mysterium Zarkseeds. A common mistake. It comes in four volumes. The first two volumes are rare, but you may run across them from time to time. The third and fourth are impossible to find. Kind of got shifty eyes. Well, I need I those. I happen to have a copy of Volume 3 on hand, but I'm afraid it is a special order. Oh, Paid special order. Ooh. Sorry. Gwyneth would be terribly disappointed if it was gone when he came to pick it up. So sorry I can't help you. You're trying to tell me something with your voice, but I don't know. I'm afraid I couldn't sell. I wish I had one. I don't know him personally, but he was very eager to get his Valen hands on Volume 3. As a matter of fact, feel free to wait for him. Hmm. Good day. Hmm. Yeah, so maybe this guy is going to try to ice me. Book on the Amulet of Kings. I should wait. Yes? Have you been following me? Leave me alone. That book is mine. Yeah, see, he's too sus. Hey, tell me about this cult. The Mythic Dawn. Are you... I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know anything about any cult. You're in over your head, I buddy. I beg your pardon? You presume to tell me about Diedrich cults? I'll have you know that I visited the Shrine of Sheagorath during the Festival of the Mad. I've spoken with Hermaeus Mora beneath Hermes the Hermaeus Mora's a slut, dude. I've... He'll speak to anyone as long as they got the information. They killed the Emperor, you fool. I don't care that much. What? The Mythic Dawn were the ones? You have to believe me. I truly had no idea. I mean, I knew they were a Diedrich cult. Mangal Cameron's views off. on Mayroon's Dagon are fascinating, revolutionary even. <laughs> but to murder the Emperor, Mara preserve us. God. Hand it over. Yes, of course. Here. Volume 3 is yours. What you do with it is your business. I need the fourth one. You can only get Volume 4 directly from a member of the Mythic Dawn. 
I had set up a meeting. Why are you such a weirdo? I feel like we fast tracked this conversation. Take this note they gave me. It tells you where to go. I don't want anything else to do with the Mythic Dawn. Cool. What do you want? I had a. I've already said. Yeah. Good day. The thing about proprietors like this is like, uh, you know, I, I gotta be, you know, honest about it. But like, sometimes it's just a little, like, Rajarad. man, what if you're, what if you're selling like the organs of kids, you know? What if you're, what if you're stealing, what if you're stealing the, the food out of an orphan's mouth, you know? Like, no one should be beholden to no one. Uh, a note, the sponsor, go alone and sit at the table in the sunken sewer beneath the Imperial City. But let's find Barris first, just to talk to him. I guess Barris is going to be our go-between. Um, I'm going to keep playing while I talk, because I have a little bit more to say. Uh, but I mentioned this in uh, my Valkyria Chronicles LP, and I also talked about it on the channel proper. But in case you don't watch that... Hail. You should. But in case you don't. Uh, I'm going to be taking a two-week break. Um, yeah, that's all, really. I'm going to be taking a two-week break on videos. Um, I'll be back in two weeks. On, like, June 6th, I think. I have a couple of other videos to get out of the chamber. Including one that I actually recorded today. Um... Ugly. You're not easy to get hold of. Well, I I only just got here. They'll pay for the murder of the Emperor. This just we need to get that fourth book then. Let's go. Oh, cool. Follow Oops, me. not the console. Just need to save. Normal save. Boring old save. But yeah, um, I'm gonna be taking a break for two weeks. Just going to take two weeks off. I've been doing this for two years. I don't get paid for this. And I haven't had a break yet. So I figured I may as well. Um, and if it goes well, I may take another one. Just because I I might like it, you know? I want to keep myself consistent. I want to make videos for me. Um, but if I, if I don't enjoy making videos, then I shouldn't make them. And, like, taking time off will let me appreciate it more, theoretically. So this is... When is this going up? Vacation starts tomorrow, and I'll be back on the 6th of June. So, I'll see you guys then. Um, I'm going to try to be posting a little more Oblivion. I actually have been posting a little more Oblivion just to catch up with it. Um, but yeah. I'll see you guys in two weeks. Thank you for the support. I'll see you guys later. Bye.